There are several things that you can do at the airport while waiting to board your flight that are going to absolutely ruin your flight experience. In today's video, we'll cover seven mistakes to avoid as well as tips on what you should be doing instead to set yourself up for an awesome flight experience. Stay tuned for the last mistake on this list as it absolutely ruined my flying experience a few years ago. It also probably ruined the flight experience for those seated around me. Not good. The first mistake that will ruin your flight experience would be to pack things that you would like for the flight inside of your rolling carry-on suitcase. Your rolling suitcase is going in an overhead bin, so anything that you pack in it will not be accessible to you during your flight. Or maybe you will have access to your suitcase, but it's going to be an absolute pain to take it down, unzip it, and access those items. Sometimes it's even impossible when the plane is full. So be sure to pack items that you would like during your flight in a small backpack that you can comfortably keep with you for the whole flight. These items would include your headphones, snacks, books, an eye mask, or anything else that you would want for the flight. Any prescription medication too. Make sure that is easily accessible in this backpack that you keep with you at your seat. The next mistake to avoid while waiting to board your flight would be assuming that food and drinks are going to be provided to you for free on the airplane. Airlines continue to change what is included in the flight ticket. It used to be standard that international flights with major airlines would provide passengers with a snack, drinks, a meal, and often even free alcohol. I was shocked to take an international flight earlier this year, a 12-hour international flight with a major carrier, and not even have a single snack provided for free. Double check the airline's website or even consider asking the gate agent what is going to be included in the flight well before your boarding time, so you have some time to purchase food or snacks to bring with you on the plane in the case that nothing will be provided. And if you think that airport food prices are high, wait until you see the prices of the food available to you on the airplane. Prices are high and the selection is extremely limited. Another similar mistake to assuming that food and beverages will be provided to you for free on the airplane would be assuming that anything at all is going to be provided to you for free. Will you have headphones and blankets waiting for you at your seat as you board the plane? Maybe, maybe not. Avoid having to pay a whopping five USD for a set of horrible, uncomfortable headphones by bringing your own wired set if you plan to use the Seatback Entertainment System. Not these fancy wireless ones that you can't plug in. Useless. And then for any travelers out there that do wear contact lenses, do not make the mistake before boarding your flight of leaving them in your eyes. The air within the aircraft is very dry, which can dehydrate your eyes and make contact lenses quite uncomfortable. Your face will also be affected by the dry air, so do your skin a favor and remove any makeup, then apply moisturizer before you board. You may also want to change out of your jeans or whatever airport clothes you chose to wear that may not be comfortable for a long flight. Dressing up for the airport experience used to be common practice but not so much anymore. Let us know down in the comments if you still choose to dress up for the airport by leaving yes dress up or no dress up in the comments below. I try to dress nicely, but that still involves wearing stretchy yoga pants or leggings, so I'm probably in the no dress up category. You'll also want to avoid boarding the plane with a low battery on any device that you plan to use. You'll usually find a USB-A charging slot available at your seat, but the trouble with these is that many devices now take USB-C slots instead. I also used to assume that there would be a standard power outlet available regardless of the seat that I chose on the airplane. Don't do this. The last few flights I have been on have either not had a power outlet available to all passengers or the outlets didn't have power supplied to them. Do yourself a favor and take advantage of those charging stations available to you at the airport to charge all of your devices before you board the plane. And if you do have a device plugged into these charging stations, please watch those like a hawk. This is a prime spot for airport theft. The next mistake would be forgetting to take advantage of the Wi-Fi and downloading content onto those devices before you board the plane. You won't have access to stream content while in the air, but you will have access to any content that you download in advance. Head to the podcast app, Spotify Music, or Netflix, and download any music or episodes so they are available to you offline. You may also want to download the app for the airline that you're flying with, as they often have content that is available to you and accessible only via the airline's app. And when you travel, if you are at a foreign airport and in a brand new country, you may be tempted to try out some new food or buy some fun new snacks for the airplane. Don't do this. It's a big mistake to eat anything that you are not used to prior to boarding the plane. 
or to purchase something that you've never had before to take with you on the plane. Probably one of my worst flight experiences was when I shared a bag of sugar-free gummy bears with a friend before takeoff. If you know, you know. If you don't know, Google Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. As you can see from this list, what you do before your flight could make or break your travel experience. Best of luck on your next trip and I hope you'll subscribe so you can join me back here next week for more travel tips and hacks to make every flight a safe and enjoyable experience. Bye!